ex-girlfriend of FTX founder has a choice to make as she reportedly cooperates with officials. Now, the Almeda Research CEO, Caroline Ellison, is in the crosshairs of the government over the FTX collapse. Former U.S. Attorney General, uh, a, a U.S. Attorney, I should say, Mark Litt said. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's a um, link to my Instagram as well. And also a link to my uh, merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. So check those t-shirts out too. All right, let's talk about this news. The girlfriend of disgraced FTX founder Samuel Bankman Freed reportedly cooperated with federal officials, it was revealed shortly after he was arrested in the Bahamas in connection with the collapse of his crypto empire. Former U.S. Attorney Mark Litt, who was involved in prosecuting Bernie Madoff, joined Fox and Friends weekend Sunday to discuss the report alleging Almeida Research CEO Caroline Ellison worked with officials in relation to the charges. Quote, it wouldn't surprise me at all Litt told Will Kane regarding the report. She was the CEO of a company that seems to be intimately involved in the alleged fraud as she in the crosshairs of the government and she's got a choice to make. He goes on to say, there's a little bit of race of a race to the prosecution at this point because the government needs cooperators. He continued, um, it's in her, it's in her interest to spin her narrative and tell her story before everybody else that the government talks to, points the finger at her. So she has every incentive to cooperate and get the benefits of cooperation. Now, Bankman Freed was arrested Monday and indicted Tuesday in Manhattan Federal Court on fraud, money laundering, and campaign finance charges in the connection to an alleged scheme to misappropriate billions of dollars of customer funds deposited in, uh, deposited with the um, international cryptocurrency exchange FTX and misled investigators and lenders to FTX and the Almeida research. The cryptocurrency hedge fund, he also, fun he also founded. Bankman Freed X Allison had uh, served as CEO of the latter and you know he tried to throw her under the bus as, as, as soon as this stuff came to light uh and bankman freed who was arrested in the bahamas is expected to appear in the bahamas courtroom on monday and uh reverse course and agree to a, a extradition um now mind you he was arrested right before he was supposed to show up before uh um before uh congress and give his side of what was really going on and everyone thought it was something it was it was a, a happy coincidence that this happened so he wouldn't be able to appear before uh congress but lit explained his role as a defendant in the extradition process and why he could fight the pro um, procedure yielding a delay in his looming return to the united states quote the defendant has rights lit said there's a process that needs to be followed and the defendant has a tough choice to make he can either decide to fight extradition or he can waive that process and come voluntarily to the United States. He might decide to fight extradition if he thinks delay is his friend or if he thinks there's a chance that the country that he's in won't extradite him completely or won't um, extradite him for certain uh, of the charges that he faces, he continued. <coughs> Excuse me. But let also mention it might be in the best interest, <coughs> excuse me, with this particular case to decide against fighting extradition if he wants a chance <coughs> to best defend himself. Sorry, I got something in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> and he goes on to say that... Um, He goes on to say that on the other hand, <coughs> if it's most, it's almost inevitable that he's going to be extradited. If he delay, 
is um and the delay is not his friend which i think in this case here he may decide to voluntarily wave and um come to the united states let's say it's very difficult to defend oneself against these kind of charges from prison from jail it's doubly hard to do so if you're in a foreign country Bankman Freed was the second largest Democrat Democratic Party donor during the 2022 midterm elections, awarding candidates with nearly $40 million. And y'all know I've done tons of videos on this. Officials have been in contact with both Democrat, Democratic and Republican campaigns regarding those donations since the X, FTX explosion. But um, sorry, I'm kind of like <coughs> coughing through this. I don't know what's going on. My allergies are acting up. But uh, let me know what you think about all this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh, say, say, oh, say.